it's not often I find work with Lovecraftian gods in it, and um, when I do, I get pretty excited. Mostly because I don't know anything about them, and it's just, um, I don't know, I just, uh, I feel like a sophisticated person reading stuff with Lovecraftian gods in it, like Hellboy. But, um, this particular fan fiction um, of Dreams That Are by Thomas the Betrayer is uh, it's quite interesting. Um, it is a Teen Titans fan fiction, and um, I was su continually surprised the entire way through. Um, it, was, it, it stars um, Raven. It, she's the girl and with the, the blue hood and the glowy eyes and the black stuff that comes out of her hands. Um, and I was thinking it would be like a usual pair up and a usual epic quest for I don't know, dignity. But um, no, every time I turned around, there's another surprise, and it was enjoyable the entire way through. Now, there's only 12 chapters, so I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm assuming um, it's going to be good what's going to happen. But um, there's no way I can pronounce this this god's name, but suffice it to say that he is the god of all things nasty and terrible, and, you know, Armageddon is his pet, kind of. It starts with the sea. Yeah. But, um, he's involved, and Atlantis is involved, and Raven has to... Not that she has to, but it, it was interesting to see her devotion to... to people who she um, considers her own because she's easily portrayed as this anti-social, anti-people, psychic bitch, essentially. So it, it was interesting to see how um, deep she cared for people and how, how much she's willing to risk it. It was also nice to see Robin as someone other than um, the boy wonder and it was quite interesting to see Vandal Savage involved because I have yet to see anything involve Vandal Savage and that was really nice to see him. Last time I saw him was in that Justice League episode where he tries to take over the world through Kaznia. That was... And then Batman and Wonder Woman kind of laid the beat down on him. But, um... And it was mildly creepy that he... that he The relationship that he tries to have with Raven and very sad that of what happens with it, but, um, yeah, I, I think you might like this, just, just because I don't know how much love, Lovecraft you read, or how many Lovecraftian gods you get in your literary diet, but, um, I suggest you read this. It's 12 chapters long, but they're very, very lengthy chapters, and, um, very, very different take on epic quests for friendship and love, and I think you'll enjoy it a whole lot.